Now, solid tools will allow you to create something like this. If we look at this, it is a solid group. It doesn't have any geometry internally, but you can imagine that this would be very difficult to create in any other way. So, but solid tools allows us to take, if we move this and this 10 feet over, I'm going to take those objects, group them, go inside that group because this group is now nested. It is not solid, but I'm going to go inside, ungroup these, and that means this is a solid group. So with the native solid tools, I could create something like that. And then we could take another object. We could select these and use one of these options, union um, or outer shell and merge that into one piece, uh, one object. 